back in Grounded, and I thought it would be neat to go over all of the different items you can sort of craft and build within the game. So obviously I used Creative Mode to whip this up because I figured it'd be a lot faster than taking all of the time in order to actually find everything like I've been doing uh, for the rest of my videos. So we kind of split it off into little sections as you might be getting a little bit teased here. And we're just going to kind of go over the construction elements of what you can actually really build uh, in this game. Now, it has been mentioned a few times from some of you, so that's great, uh, that you can build on top of the baseball uh, there. The actual baseball. It's weird to say you can build on top of a baseball, right? Like, that's odd. Anyways, you can build up there, and apparently the bugs won't bother you up there. And there's a couple spots where you can actually get to elevated points, and then the bot, or the bugs, well, they are bots, won't do anything to bother you. Great, so we're going to start off with the basic kind of building options with in the game, which is kind of cool. We're going to do that from up on the D-pad here. So uh, in house construction, there's a few different options. So obviously when you start out and something you might, you know, be well aware of is the option to create, you know, these grass plank based uh, aspects. So we got wall, windowed wall, triangle wall, door. Uh, sturdy wall and a uh, windowed sturdy wall. So these are grass planks plus the weed stems and the weed stems also give you a sturdy door and the stem wall. Cool. So pretty basic stuff there. Uh, I don't know if we necessarily need to place them up on the map, but you get the idea of what they are. Uh, you know, your basic starting buildings, well, building blocks, you know, the grass planks, and then the, the weed stuff integrations in order to build sturdy or more intense things to block out enemies a little bit better. Then we move over, things get slightly more advanced. You have your you know, triangle floor and you got your floor. So the triangle floor is just like designed as a, a bit of a, a triangle shape in case you're doing more uh, different techniques and uh, designs for your aesthetics of your building. Then we've got the, the stairs, so just an easy way to get up top. You could go the ramp route. Uh, you can also set up scaffolding as a way to kind of be an extension to build upwards or you can actually get the more intense clay option for a foundation uh, entirely up to you. Uh, of course based on what you have and I find that scaffolding is something that is a little bit more you get early on and you kind of go from there and then we've got the more advanced uh, using the weed stems the the palisade uh, designs which might be a little bit different so that's why I've actually kind of built the outside walls of the house with them they're they're very tall kind of designs uh, very cool so then moving onwards we have uh, clay when you find clay in the game, you're able to make the foundation and the ramp. Keeping in mind that some of this stuff uh, might get added to or changed slightly later on. Uh, the roofs, you know, very basic sort of things with the grass options. You get those right away. Well, it's not grass, but they kind of blend in well with the grass because they're clover-based. You get what I mean? The, the very green type of thing. Then we've got some more building stuff, which we're going to talk about if we go, well, when we go into that area. Great. So this is kind of fun. And there's a little bouncy thing. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to start off with the uh, the basics on the building here. So we're going to go over to stuff that you're more likely going to have right away. And that being uh, this tier in the construction. So we got our, our lean to. That's where you sleep between 20 and 6. I think it is 20 hours, 20 hundred hours uh, and 6. So that's when you can sleep. And then we got the storage basket and the storage chest. We're seeing those right here. You can see the amount of items you can actually contain in the storage area. And you're seeing that here, you get a little bit more. So that's kind of nice, the difference between the two. And then moving on, we also get the water container. So this is actually where you're able to store water if you want to use it. We have a video where you go a little bit more in depth with what they do. But we're kind of just going over the gist of what the items are. Then we have the two kind of holding options. So these, you know, hold your logs and these hold your, your planks. Uh, so you basically your essential building materials, you know, the leaves you collect and then the uh, the stems and all that that you put in there, the more logged uh, weed options. Then we've got our trail marker, essential for marking spots on the map. We'll show that on a, in a sec. And we just showed the bounce whip, which is super cool, but you need the, the rubber in order to make that one. So it's a little bit more complex, but it's a lot of fun. Whoop. So here's the trail marker. You just have different things, icon, color, really easy going, shows up on the map, a good indicator of knowing where you are. Well, it shows up on the map, kind of your world, if that makes sense, like you can clearly see it indicated there. Pretty nice spot. Great. So it's probably easiest to go over all of the items here quickly. So we got our workbench, very typical sort of thing. Uh, I love that. That's so cool, little ant uh, 
you know, clinchers for that sort of thing is really fun. Anyways, uh, that's the essential building spot. You know, you start from there, you move forward. And then we obviously talked about the uh, the holders for the different uh, options, you know, whether you're getting the grass or you're getting the, uh, sorry, we don't have an example of it nearby, but we're getting, you know, the other resource, um, the weed, so you can actually stack them up more professionally for grabbing them. Uh, and then we have the smoothie machine. You put three items together in order to make different smoothies and it actually remembers your recipes too. And you can see all the different recipes that are available uh, here. And we actually see what's... No, okay. The smoothie options, we obviously show the jumping pad, which can give you some, like, really good height. Seriously, like, really, really high. Super helpful. At least in my opinion. And then another one we couldn't build was the, uh, the sap collector. So you actually put that down. I don't know if it's just because this is creative, but it wasn't really uh, working like it does in the campaign in regards to just kind of plopping it down on the, the sap branches. Because we do actually have a sap branch over there and it, it just wasn't placing. I don't know if it's that one or glitch or something. Keep in mind it's game preview. So then we got the, the basketball hoop, which will kind of uh, run by later. It's it's somewhere around here. It, it's nothing special. Uh, we showed the workbench, the basketball hoop, and the sap catcher. And then finally we have, uh, I don't know if we want to move over there yet, because I thought we maybe, yeah, okay, so we got a couple more things. We got the mushroom garden, which we'll, we're going to show in the game soon. So that gives you daily mushrooms for food. Uh, and then we have the jerry rack. So that's a little bit harder because you need the bombardier, bombardier uh, parts, uh, but then you get the jerry rack. So that's another food based thing. And then the dew collector, which collects and stores uh, water for you. I don't know, did, we, did we show that long enough? You see the kind of stuff needed to build that one. That's a bit of an intermediate type of building option in the game. But as you can see, it collects, uh, really you know, dew on it, so fresh water for you. And then here you got the the mushrooms, and then here you can hang your your meats and all that. So kind of cool. I uh, hope that helped on showing off what these are again. J Rack, the uh, the mushroom growing, and then the dew collector there. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, here's the basketball hoop if you want to see in the game. Uh, I don't get the point of it, but maybe they'll do something with it later. And then we've got our trap set up over here. Sorry, just got to run over to them. So these are our trap options. We've got uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, spike trap or a spike strip. You kind of throw that on the ground there. It's good against walls, kind of keep stuff away. And then we got the lure trap. So that's a bit of a luring thing. You're going to need the flower petal for that one kind of gets people in, and then the tripwire bomb, bit of an explosion, spider silk, plus the ant parts, so not too hard to, to build if you got the spider stuff. And just kind of showing that off, you see the, the tripwire there, and then kind of a simple but crude and cool sort of thing, and you have the flower, the stuff coming out of it, draws uh, enemies and stuff in, so good selection of traps. I hope they add some more though, because it seems a little bit uh, minimum. We're going to quickly show the art section so this is weird because you can't actually just make it off the bat you need the, the workbench so that's why we're going to show it here uh, so this has the decor yeah so you can actually get uh, yeah the different options oh we're going to show the mounts inside so this is actually the art section sorry i got to clarify on that good so this is the art section we got the ants the aphid uh, the weevil the uh, infected weevil the stuffed mite, the bee, uh, the gnat, and the bombardier. Kind of f funny and messed up that you can store the the creatures you kill. We'll stuff them and everything. But they look kind of cool, I guess. I mean, it's, it's neat seeing them here in a totally non-threatening way. Even though I don't think most of these are threatening. Well, that one certainly looks threatening and creepy. And the other ones you can throw on your uh, wall stuff too, so that's pretty cool. And we'll show that off right here. So we got the different ones that you can actually put on the wall here, all the different mounts available currently. Uh, so we got things, I think you can do that right here. Yeah, so the soldier ant, the ant worker. Uh, then we also got the ant totem, which is a bit odd. We'll talk about the other stuff in a sec here. Uh, then we got the orb weaver, the infected weevil, the larva head, the bombardier head, uh, lady ladybug head, and the uh, the wolf spider so that's kind of interesting you just kind of mount them there it's kind of neat you know you get a good selection of the things you've sort of taken over or taken on and killed and then we've got the uh, the ant head 
kind of mounted there, which is sort of neat. Oh, and there's the two other stuff things. Uh, you can kind of move them. Wouldn't that be kind of gross, just like in your home, just like these hanging stuff? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Then we've got the uh, the armor dummy, so for armor holding and, and the weapon rack too, which we'll show off in a sec here. Uh, kind of showing those two. You need clay for that one. So we've got the, the dummy, kind of neat, and we've got the uh, the rack here, so you can play stuff, the display gear and everything, so that's kind of cool, right? Uh, the two spots there should be noted too for the display gear. Kind of a, a cool little spot just to hold things. And then we go on to some of the uh, the semi-decorative but helpful, uh, the plant lamp, the scone scones, uh, the slime mold scones, and uh, we got our two chairs, the berry chair and the chair chair. So you see the different step up where you're going to need the berry leather. So that's kind of a, a next step up. So we got the different lamps here. You notice these ones you kind of turn on and off. These are a passive glow. So you're seeing with this one here, uh, scones, uh, you actually, you gotta, you know, you turn it on and off, whereas the other one is a uh, passively always glowing option. Obviously not quite as bright, but you know, it's, it's always kind of going, so you don't have to turn it on and off. So it's sort of neat uh, with that. And then there's the chair here. This kind of looks neat. It would kind of be so unsettling to put your like arms on that like ant armrest. Ugh. And then the big chair. It's kind of like it looks pretty comfy, I think. I don't know. The sleeping little tent. We kind of talked about that. I thought we had no. That, that covers everything. I think of the the items in this particular area that we talked about. The chairs and all that you could build. Cool. We got to talk about traps. We talked about all that stuff. All the building stuff. Floor stuff. And that's kind of the, the gist of what you can create. I hope kind of seeing it here was helpful. I mean, obviously there's a lot of work involved in, in getting all of the stuff set up and getting it placed and found what, like in your regular survival world. But I, I kind of hope that this was a little bit interesting uh, just in regards to understanding some of the stuff. So we're gonna go over some of the things you can't necessarily just like place. Uh, we got the canteen, which I actually made and showed in another video how it works. Uh, the bandaging tools. Uh, these are your workbench tools. So you get the insect axe, so that's like a tier two item. Insect hammer, uh, the spear, so something a little bit. These are kind of the more advanced, you know, kind of spear options. The insect bow, and then you get like a bomb, so you can blow things up too, which is kind of cool. You know, kaboom! You get the, you need the fungal growth though, ant egg, so it's a little bit more of a trickier thing. And then we got our glue, so our armor glue, and then the, the super armor glue where you need the, the berry stuff. So they just kind of amp it up in regards to what you got to find in the environment out there, the ant club, which you might have seen me use if you watch my other videos. Uh, spider fang dagger, the mint mallet, so you need the mint chunks and the flower petals for that one, quite a bit more uh, advanced. That's, that's the third tier one. We got the larva blade. Uh, and that's the last item there for the workbench tools, and then we got the workbench gear. Well, we should do regular tools first. I mean, you, you should know these ones pretty well. You know the pebblets, and then we got the torch to be able to see. Slime mold torch, kind of a bit of a step up. Sprig bow. Again, this stuff isn't too hard to make. Your arrows. You got your sticky bomb, which is the spider silk plus the bomb. So this is like a bit of a stick thing, right? Your repair tool, which we also showed off in the other video, and then the acorn shovel, which is for the uh, grubs in the ground, and then the spiky sprig, kind of a messed up bat thing, which is kind of neat. Venom arrows, so you can dip them in the venom of the spider, kind of cool. But you do need the spider venom, so keep track of that material. And then the lure arrow for luring them in, and finally the gas arrow, so you can do a bit of a gas attack. See the different options you need there in order to build those things. So now the gear, so this is what you're wearing, the aphid slippers. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, so again, you need some more advanced sort of things, I guess, for this one. The eye patch two. It's a it's a weird thing to make, but it, it's kind of fun. And then the mite hat. Some of the stuff's like pretty basic. The, that would be so disgusting to put on your face. Like I, I can't even. And then the, the clover, so the clover based stuff is some of the more basic uh, armor materials that you would wear. The clover shin guards, and then you got the acorn stuff, which is a bit more of a hardcore. That's when you step up into battling some of the more uh, advanced creatures is when you throw that stuff on, seeing how it's kind of changing things. And we got the ant helmet which was kind of like a samurai style, but messed up too. The ant arm guards, seeing what you need to do to get building those. Knee guards, and then we got the grub coal. <laughs> that would be so disgusting too. Uh, grub hide, uh, the grub vest. 
So you're just getting these kind of cool different tiers for the different creatures. You can go out and kill the different insects, the ladybug stuff. So that's like more high tier in regards to like, you know, the defense and the style that you get out of that. Because obviously, you know, killing the ladybug is kind of a, a, a bigger thing, right? And then the, the bee face mask. So the bee stuff and even more intense kind of collection stuff. It is really about going around like killing the insects, taking care of them, you know, taking them out. Then we got the spider stuff. So you gotta get the spider fangs and spider pieces. A little bit harder to make, but that's the end of what that is. So then we can talk about materials, woven fiber, the rubber, see what you need for that, and then the uh, the berry leather. So kind of just more advanced techniques for building stuff. I guess we could go through the resources, but we covered the uh, the decor already in game. We've done the traps, we've done the utilities, all that stuff. The meal prep, like we sh we showed the uh, the sap like catch her enough. Like I just couldn't place it for some reason. It was, it was weird on this. I, I don't know why I wasn't doing that. Meal prep, uh, the different base building options. We kind of covered all that. The art, the snacks, we'll, we'll just finish off with the resources. And I hope you found this interesting, you know, just kind of covering everything that's available right now. And they'll add stuff to this. But I just want you to get an idea of, like, you know, all the different resources in the game. The weed stem, grass planks, acorn bits, right? And there's a ton of things that all this stuff uses things for. There's, there's just, like, a real ton of items in this one, right? Like, the flower petal. Kind of nuts. Just the quantity of things, clay, softwood, done. Yeah, it's kind of really cool items: thistle needle, mite stuff, gnat fuzz, clover leaf, stink bug gas part. Yeah, we'll just kind of go through it quicker. But you see all the different things you're gonna need in order to build stuff. There, there's a lot of things to uh, try to collect in this one. It's a lot of dangerous adventures in order to actually get this stuff. You know and not die while doing so well you're probably gonna die a couple times getting things but yeah i hope you found this helpful in regards to maybe seeing some of the other things that you're going to be working towards building uh, some of the more fun stuff um, well we're gonna have to do a more advanced uh video on building the bases i think uh with the more complexity and stuff but kind of a cool little spot i think i don't know and i can't get over the bouncing thing it's so awesome